Good morning. I'm going to go ahead and show you my everyday makeup look and show you how I deal with my very asymmetrical eyes. First, I'm going to use the Milani Eyeshadow Primer in 01 Nude. For my foundation, I will be using my all-time favorite Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear in 140 Ivory Neutral. I like to blend my foundation with a makeup sponge. The least amount I move the skin the better, especially when you get older, you don't want to be pulling or tugging at your skin. So I love the makeup sponges because it helps press in, blend in the foundation without a lot of swiping, tugging, pulling that I find happens if I use a brush on my skin. I also like the fact that the makeup sponge will soak up some of the foundation which allows my natural skin to peek through, which gives a more overall natural look, especially for an everyday makeup look. For under eye concealer, I'll be using the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Camouflage in 110 Ivory Cool. For this, you just need the tiniest bit and I rub it between my fingers to warm it up before placing it under my eyes. To blend the concealer under my eyes, I use a mini Real Techniques blending sponge. And like with the rest of my face, I appreciate the blending sponge and the fact that it does not tug or pull at the skin, especially that delicate under eye area. It also presses in that concealer at, into the skin as well as soak up any excess concealer for a more natural finish. To set my under eyes, I am using the e.l.f. HD Translucent Sheer Powder and I use the same mini blending sponge to press into the powder and press underneath my eyes to set. I also take the powder up to my eyebrows and my upper lids to set that area to be ready for when I do my eyebrows. If I notice that any of the powder has been creased into a line, I simply use my finger and gently swipe and it actually smooths it out. Now for eyes. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette and I will be going into Ambitious to use in my crease. For the brush, I will be using the Real Techniques Blending Brush. And if you notice, I use patting motions to pat the color in. Again, with mature skin, you don't want to be swiping, pulling, or tugging at the skin.
Given that my eyes are quite asymmetrical, my right being much more hooded compared to the left, I tend to check often in the main mirror to see how I look straight on to help build up the color and to create, start creating a more asymmetrical look between the eyes. A little trick that I found out, if I use the Echo Tools blush brush, it almost works as a magnet in picking up any excess fallout underneath the eyes. Next, I will be going into fills to go over the top of Ambitious, and again, I will be using my Real Techniques shading brush. Now I will use the blending brush that comes in the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Eyeshadow Palette to blend and soften up the eyeshadow. I will use the Real Techniques Definer Brush to line underneath my lashes with Ambitious. This is where I start to build more symmetry between my right hooded eye and my left eye. So what I will do is I will start at the lower lash line and I will take the color Ambitious and I will start to build up the color from the lower lash line toward the crease where I initially put the color. Then I will connect it and try to again darken up that corner so it matches the left eye where I don't have to put much effort or really any effort into that eye in the same way that I have to for my right eye. I hope that makes sense. And I will continue to look face on into the main mirror to see how each side looks and until I feel that both sides look pretty symmetrical. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but I will continue to do that until I am satisfied or happy with the look of my eyes. And then finally, I will go ahead and blend out my eyeshadow one final time. Now for the final step of the eyeshadow. I take it bang bang, use my finger to place it on my mobile lid. For my more asymmetrical right eye, I will place it higher onto the mobile lid than I do my left eye. Now to finish the look of my eyes, I will use my liquid liner in L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. So another thing that I want to point out is I never ever pull on my eyelids when I apply liquid liner. Even when I was young, my mother taught me not to ever pull on my skin. So if you see, I simply just take my time and line the top of my lashes as close to my lash line as I possibly can without pulling and stretching out the skin. You only have so much elasticity in the skin and over time, if you think about years and years of daily pulling on your face, if you wear makeup every day, which I do, 
it will eventually start to stretch the skin out and you will start to lose that elasticity, which you will lose anyway as you get older. Now for the final step to tie this entire eye look together, it's mascara. And I am using my all time favorite mascara that I have used since I started using makeup. And in my personal opinion, I have not found any mascara better than this. And it is Maybelline Great Lash. So I am using Maybelline Great Lash Big Lashes in Blackest Black. And then for the lower lashes, because it has a smaller spoolie, I'm using the Great Lash Lots of Lashes in Black is Black as well. For brows, I'm using my new favorite brow pen, which is by Benefit. It's called the Brow Micro Filling Pen in Blonde. I like this better than any pencil I have used or any um, pomade I have used. Now for the cleanup of my mascara that I got on my eyes as I was placing on my mascara. So what I do while I'm putting on my brows, I will let the mascara set and dry out and then I simply take a Q-tip and gently rub off the mascara and it will just flake away off of the skin without having to ruin the eyeshadow or eye makeup that you have taken the time to place. For bronzer, I'll be using the Benefit Hoola Matte Powder and I will take my Lancome Blush Brush, which I will use for my entire face for the bronzing. So I will take it around the perimeter of my forehead, my cheeks, and along my nose as well as my neck and the sides of my chin.
For blush, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match in the color Baby Blossom. And I'm taking a Bare Minerals Full Face Brush to use to place my blush. To finish the look, I am going to be using the Revlon Lustrous Lipstick in Coral Berry, number 674. For lip liner, I'm going to use Rimmel Lasting Finish in 011 Spice. I am using the lip liner over the top of my lipstick to overline my lips. And here is a little tip and trick for you that I've discovered. This is second day hair. The day before I used my Nano Titanium Babyless Pro Hot Roller Set to create curls. To keep those curls, I put my hair up in two buns on the side of my head. And in the morning, as you can see here, I pull them out and use my fingers to recreate the look of my hair. And as you can see, it is still full and soft and manageable and the wave and the curls are still there. So there you have it. There is my look. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.